Hey, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to my channel, Redline Mods. Thanks for tuning back in. I appreciate the support. If you're my new subscribers, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate the support. And check out this um, chrome that we're going to be doing today using Crux Motorsports Forged Carbon Fiber Vinyl. And this is how it looks. Make sure you guys use the discount code REDLINE20 on all vinyl at checkout. Get that 20% off. Make sure this lines up like so want to help you guys do this yourself so because the shops are charging a few hundred bucks to get this done but if you buy your own vinyl through crux motorsports with 20 percent off you could literally do this yourself just needs at least two hours throughout your um on your day off but as you can see lining it up with the chrome piece on top the rest is self-explanatory once it's lined up as you can see going through the video is going to be long of course only because it's a huge chrome that honda came out with so bear with me and just helping you guys out if you guys are liking my content hit the sm uh, smash the like button subscribe hit the bell icon to be notified on upcoming content it doesn't cost you guys anything so i appreciate that more content is going to be coming up of course and uh as you can see it's perfect fitment right there i just i just love their pre-cuts crux motorsports got the best vinyl honestly i'm going to fast forward a little bit this process because it's a very long video so i'm going to fast forward these things um as you can see once you line it up you reach the sorry about that it's kind of blocked over there Once you reach that corner, you're gonna start. You're gonna need to start using a, a heat gun. I'll put the link in the description below. It's an affiliate link, Amazon affiliate link. I make a small commission off of that, but there's no cost to you guys. And I highly suggest you guys uh, also get the squeegee from Crux Motorsports. I think it comes in red and blue. I received uh, both of them. It's very helpful. Um, you'll need you'll need to use that at some point. Um, so you guys could use the heat. I suggest use it on low setting. Um, this way you have more more time to work with the vinyl. If you use it on heat, you have to be quick at it because you can't keep using the same heat again and again over it. Then you're gonna ruin the vinyl. But low heat's preferably best. Uh, at some points um, you might need high high heat for a few seconds but I suggest just work with low settings and that should be good enough you can see just heat up that top and make sure you guys press it hard enough so it sticks together it's gonna take at least another day or two extra for it to like cure against that chrome like so it could be stuck really hard and then as you can see in the bottom, just heat it up lightly. And you could use the thumb um, trick or you could use that squeegee. Um, if you use a squeegee, it'd be a lot better. But I'm using the thumb trick, which helps a little bit. But as you can see, I'll be using the squeegee as well. It gives you that easy. It's just a lot easier too. push the vinyl downwards all together at once without ruining it then you would use the same process on the other side whatever i'm doing here you do the same thing on the other side I'm also going to use a squeegee to push the excessive under the chrome piece so it doesn't peel off. You'll see all you got to do is push it with the flatter edge of the squeegee. Like I said, it's very helpful. You can see, heat up a little bit underneath it and then use the squeegee to push the excessive under that chrome piece so it could stay there. 
just like that. Super easy. This side took me at least uh, 10 minutes. So once you do one side, the other side is fairly easy. And then the rest of it, you get like the whole point of it, how it's done. But having that forged carbon fiber wrap is really nice. Everyone goes with like gloss black or matte black. I was like, it's got, I just wanted a different look. And this is how it turns out from just one side. It already makes a big difference, especially when the sun hits it, it looks really nice. Big difference. And now let's do the other side and the bottom strips as well. And this is the hard part, doing that small strip under the Honda's logo. So this one might take some time. Other than that, the rest isn't that difficult except this one is very difficult, this area, because it got that curve. So just use low heat and, and uh, slowly do it, I guess, until you're satisfied with it. Even I had, I was, even I was struggling with it. But I'm going to fast forward this section so you can see I kept using the heat on low settings to kind of stretch a little bit here and there and kind of get the curves smooth. And it did take me a couple tries to get it done and let it sit there, you know. This part was difficult, so if you're having the same issue, don't worry. It's just the curves are really tough. After like 10 minutes of working with this curve, I finally got it done. It literally took me another 10 minutes just for a small section. But hiding that full chrome under that logo was tough in the corners as well. But finally got it done. Anything is possible. Don't give up, guys. It's all experience. Now moving up to the strips, you can see that what I did here was the easiest way to do it is you line up the top. with the uh, with the the seam when the chrome with the chrome seam it when it ends so kind of it's literally like dead center of the vinyl when you apply it there but the easiest way to know if you're in that center is when you the top piece of the vinyl like the top line of the vinyl you kind of look at it like at a level eyesight level with the vinyl and line it up with the seam of the, the the black part where the the chrome you know sits in so when you fold it down it would fit right onto the chrome piece and it will cover that section too on top so as you can see it's like dead center of it half goes over the chrome and half goes under um, the chrome underneath that so that covers the full area and again, use low heat, get the centered first, all the way to the other end. And then you can flip the top vinyl and the bottom vinyl on the strip, just like that. See it? That's what I was talking about. Line it up when on your eye level with it, like you don't see it. You don't see the chrome piece, just like that. 
you'll get it what I'm talking about once you start playing with it a little bit. See, level it up with that piece right there. So it should be good to go. And this is how it looks when it's done. It looks really great. Yeah, totally different look. Looks awesome. It's perfect. Now we're going to be working on the bottom piece. The middle piece, but the bottom piece. See, the reason why I'm doing this piece first is because when I do the, the middle piece that, that goes on top, it's going to cover the bottom seam. So when the water comes down or anything, it's not going to go into the vinyl or dirt is not going to go into the vinyl seam. It's going to go right over it and fall down to the ground. If you see what I'm saying, you overlap this this piece under the top one. So you want to do this piece first. Again, all about lining it up on one side and then you follow that line in the middle. I'm going to fast forward this, but the same process lining it up. It's already pre-cut. You might stretch it here and there a little bit with low heat settings again. But you guys could do it. If you stretch a little extra, it's okay. Leave it like that and kind of heat it up again. It will shrink back into its own place. Got the middle piece done. That was the hard part. And now you can see how the bottom is lined up. So the top piece is gonna come right over. Just line up, line up the top piece really easy. This is the last one. By now you guys should be experts at it. As you can see it at the passenger side in the front, the right chrome above the headlight. See, line that up. And then the excessive that's in the bottom part, that, that folds down. Make sure you guys don't cut it. Yeah, I'm gonna fast forward this as well. So use a little bit of a heat and then push the vinyl together against the chrome so it sticks really well. Put 
first text as a fin with the squeegee. And this is what it turns out after like two hours of me doing this. It took me an hour, honestly. hour and a half maximum but definitely not easy look at this big difference next up i gotta do the the honda logo chrome turned out really great though